Hi Capricorns. Thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot today. My name is Elena. I am doing a general spread for you. This is going to be good for all placements for the sign of Capricorns. Happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful Capricorn moms out there. And I'm going to get the strongest energies around you right now. I'll be looking at something you've recently been through. The crossing energies, the person you've been dealing with. And then what's headed in, in the next week to two weeks? They usually start to come in next week, maybe two weeks. All right, I'm gonna get started. Uh, this is general, so it's not gonna resonate with everyone, okay? Thank you. All right, Spirit Guide, strongest energies around the sign of Capricorns. Pardon me. I'm just kind of like, hmm. <laughs> strongest energies around the sign of Capricorns, please. This reading is for, what else do you wanna show me? Thank you. Strongest energies around the sign of Capricorns. Anything else? Nope. All right, Capricorns. I'm going to get into it. Um, the first card over to my left is awareness, and the card in front of me is deception and envy. You're aware of something around you, like you know someone's been deceptive with you, you know someone is kind of, I don't know, I feel like someone's playing a head game with you. Like I feel the awareness card is your crown chakra, is like you just have this awareness of something and you, you may not have been told it, but there's something around you right now that you know because the next card is movement choices and decisions. You know, and I feel that with the awareness here right around you right now is you know something. And I feel like it's, it's you know, I feel that you need to make a choice about moving on with something here. And then I have heart chakra with disruption and heartache and loss. Yeah. And then the card under that, you guys, is intuition. Like I felt you knew something. Let's stop right there. I got three more cards. Heartache and loss with the heart chakra. This is a lot of heart healing energy right here with that heart chakra. You know, um, I feel that there's something around you that your intuition's been screaming at you. I have intuition and I felt it with the awareness card. It's like you know something. And I have disruption. And I feel that there's some type of jealous, envious energy around you. And now it's you're trying to decide which do, which which direction do I want to go, because my my intuition is telling me something. I have victory and success, I have the throat chakra, and then I have sacrifice, and I immediately felt that um, there's Capricorns out there who need need to speak up about something. You need to say something, Capricorns, because I have victory and success showing up. And sometimes it's hard because, you know, our intuition is telling us something, but we don't know if we should believe it or not. But I feel with the heart, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, this is about speaking up something that is something that is hurting your heart, you know, and with sacrifice here, this is about, you may have to let something go in order for a victory and success to come in for you. Okay. That's what I feel. All right. We'll be looking at the incoming in a minute, but I'm going to look at something you've recently been through. If it sounds like your situation, you know what? We're going to use these today. Then this is your reading. Spirit guides, show me something my Capricorns has recently been through, please. For the sign of Capricorns. You know, with throat chakra here, that's all about speaking up from something that's been hurting your heart and you will have victory and success through it and you need to sacrifice something about making a choice because you got movement choices and decisions and have disruption. So, okay, recent past for the sign of Capricorns. Thank you. Thank you. What else do you wanna show me for the recent past for the sign of Capricorns, please? Anything else? And then it stops. Under the deck, this card has been showing up in every reading. I have the Seven of Cups and um, recently in the past this was really being disillusioned about something with love and you were very patient about it. That's Temperance, Sagittarius. Um, the Seven of Cups is a card of... 
I feel like you wanted to believe something here and I don't know why. And then I have the Ace of Cups and there's the card right there. Intuition. The High Priestess. Like I feel there was something recently in the past that it felt like a new opportunity of love. But your intuition was telling you something about it because I have it with the Seven of Cups and Temperance. And I kind of feel that uh, you've been very patient about balancing and blending something that seemed very wishy-washy to you. That's what I feel. That's what I'm going with. I have an Ace of Wands. I have the big Emperor showing up. And then I have Strength. You know, the Ace of Wands is, um, I feel that there was somebody recently in your past that wanted to offer you a passionate brand new opportunity. You know, but I felt you had the strength and courage to fight something off here. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. Okay, I just feel it. it's Leo energy. It could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but it's strength. You had an infinite amount of strength and courage because you felt wishy-washy energy here because the card in front of me is the five of pentacles sideways mm, with the moon. It's running the money because it's rolling into these energies. Five of pentacles with the moon here. It's like, boy... There's something about this situation that I feel I may be left out um, in the cold with. But with the moon here, that's Piscean Cancer energy. But that's just like seems things were just so hidden from you. But I feel your intuition was telling you something. I have the Knight of Communication with the Ten of Cups. Recently, if you haven't received it, you will. But recently, you're coming into these energies of the Knight of Communication or fast forward thinking towards something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Um, I think the last two cards. I have the four, there it is, four of wands, six of cups, three of cups, and we have the combat zone, the five of wands. Hmm. Three of cups with that six of cups, that's a lot of love energy. But the six of cups is somebody you had a beautiful connection with. It's a kindred spirit. It could have been a reunion recently, but there was something about it that was very hidden from you. Like you weren't too sure about it. I don't know. Um, and you were very unsure about choosing one of those cups of love, you know, and your intuition was screaming at you because I have it in your current energies. And with the four of wands, this is something that opened, like something just opened, you know, um, gateways just opened up. But what happened recently coming into this is I have a lot of disruption. And it's right here, the Five of Wands. And it's like not being able to be on the same page with somebody. A lot of passionate conflicts. I feel like it's starting to make you feel as if something here is very out of balance, out of whack. And I have deception and envy. Like maybe somebody is very dominating over you. Maybe they're very jealous. Maybe they cling on because of jealousy and now you're at this place of, I don't know, should I move on? I may have to sacrifice something here because I have heart shackle with heartache and loss and sacrifice. Mm. You know, and I feel that you need to speak up with what you need to say because I have intuition with uh, awareness. And then you shall have a victory and success around you right now. But I think something needs to be said. Something needs to be said, Capricorns. Just saying. All right? We're going to look at your incoming in a minute, but I'm going to look at the crossing energies. If you are not dealing with anyone, my beautiful Capricorns, there's a timestamp in the description box to move into the incoming. Crossing energies, please. Thank you. Crossing energies for the sign of Capricorns. Thank you. What do you want to show me? Hmm. Crossing energies, please. That my Capricorns have been dealing with. What else do you want to tell me about the crossing energies? Thank you. Anything else you'd like to show me? Crossing energies? Nope. Hmm. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, someone's not walking away. I have the Seven of Pentacles under the deck with, there it is, the Three of Cups. And someone who has been trying to manifest something here, the magician under the deck. So I'm gonna look. Three of Cups was in your energies. Seven of Pentacles is someone who's been putting the work 
into something, hoping to see the fruits from their labor. And they have been trying to create something with you. They have been trying to create something with you, but there's something about this person I don't think you trust. I haven't seen a whole lot yet. I have the tower in reverse. And what I feel from this is because I go by how I feel, it's like somebody's not changing. Somebody's not tearing down an old way about themselves. You know, they, they're not rebuilding something new. I have the star, big Aquarius showing up and there's the same card you have, the four of wands. I got matching cards over here. The four of wands is someone who had hope, faith about gateways opening with you Capricorns. They had a lot of hope and faith. It's big Aquarius energy. In front of me is I have the Nine of Swords. This is a whole lot of anxiety, uh, nighttime anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights. I have it with the Ten of Wands. Um, I feel that someone's been trying to create something with you and it's becoming almost a lot of anxiety with you because I feel you feel someone's been jealous or something. I don't, I don't know, like a jealous game. And it's like this person is having nighttime anxiety and it's starting to become a weight because I don't think Capricorn's going to give them another chance. And I'm going to tell you right now, they haven't walked away. I had the Eight of Cups in reverse and they're waiting for their Capricorns. I got the Three of Wands. They're waiting and waiting and waiting. I think your last reading was Capricorn left the building. I have a hanging man, someone who doesn't want to change the way they're looking at something with the Four of Swords. And then I have big Taurus showing up, the hair font. Hmm. I already had mentioned with the tower that I felt someone just doesn't want to change a prophecy or the way they're looking at something, the, the, a belief of theirs. They don't want to tear it down, you know? And I just kind of feel like there's something here that kept leave, leaving you feeling left out in the cold and everything just seemed very hidden from you. Like it didn't seem as good as it was and you were very concerned about you know, the hit it and quit it type of energy, you know, and you didn't want to feel left out in the cold because you're smart, you know, and I feel right now around you right now is you need to speak up about something that your intuition has been telling you, you know, for victory and success. All right. With the Hierophant here, this is uh, the major kind of a Taurus, but this is someone who is trying to climb to a higher level of commitment. All right, very slow moving energy. I see them trying to manifest something here. I'm telling you right now, Capricorns, they haven't walked away. They haven't walked away and they're waiting. They're waiting and waiting and waiting. And they have a lot of hope and faith. A lot of hope, faith. And they have been trying to create, 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 hoping that they can put some more work into this with you, Capricorns. Mm. All right, that's about the crossing energies. I don't know. Let's look at what's coming towards you because that is why we're here. <laughs> all right let's do these okay spirit guides incoming energies in the next few weeks for the sign of capricorns what would you like to show me incoming please for the sign of capricorns thank you thank you spirit guides in the next few weeks please thank you Show me the cards I need to see for the incoming energies. For the beautiful sign of Capricorns. Thank you. Tell me about the incoming energies, please. For the sign of Capricorns. Anything else? Nope. Under the deck, um, I have flexible. And I feel in the incoming energies, they want me to tell you to be flexible about something. Okay. And then I have chaos and conflict showing up again. You had that in your current energies. Yeah. I feel that the incoming energies is telling me to tell you to be flexible about something. Because I think you need to speak up about something. And um, sometimes it does create a lot of chaos and conflict. But they want me to tell you to just go with it. You know, just go with it. Go with the flow. First card on my left is I have by the book. Mm -hmm. And I have poise telling me to tell you to hold on a second. But make sure everything is by the book, Capricorns. Elephants don't forget. You know, they're very brave creatures. They're not aggressive creatures unless somebody's trying to harm them. 
you know, and I feel that they want me to tell you to hold on a second, Capricorns, hold on, be flexible. I have, uh, to be fair, I'm sensing a theme here. I'm sensing a theme. Buy the book and to be fair. And I feel like this is about you holding on, being flexible, stay poised. There may be a little conflict coming in, but something is supposed to happen here because I have the fates. And then right next to that, you guys, I have higher power. Something is destiny here. And then I have imagine. Wow. That is beautiful energy. I mean, it's just, I, it's just the way I get the cards is sometimes just a little weird. You know, higher power, something is fated for you and they want you to imagine what it is that you want. Because when you imagine, you create. Just make sure everything is by the book. Everything is going to be fair. Please stay poised. Be flexible with whatever chaos and conflict is coming in your way because something is faded here. There's a higher power at play and imagine. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> All right. I'm going to look right now for the beautiful sign of Capricorns incoming. Show me why these oracles are here, please. Thank you. One good shuffle. Incoming energies for the beautiful sign of Capricorns there, guys. Tell me about the incoming energies. Thank you. For the sign of Capricorns. Show me what I need to see about the incoming energies for the sign of Capricorns. What else do you want to tell me? Anything else about the incoming energies for the sign of Capricorns? In the next few weeks for Capricorns? Anything else? Thank you. Anything else? All right. I already see the message, actually. I have the Seven of Pentacles under the deck. Uh, Seven of Pentacles is, do I want to put more work into something here? Am I going to see any fruits from my labor? That's why they have by the book, everything to be fair and be flexible with it. Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. If I put work into this, is it going to grow? Because I have the Hanging Man and I have the King of Wands. And then I have Capricorn showing up. The devil. It's you. It's your major arcana, Capricorns. The king of wands, huh? That's Leo energy. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Put those over here. The hanging man, I feel, is... This is what I feel. And this is what I do. I feel that something's coming in for you. I really do. And I think this is where you need to decide... Is it worth putting any effort into something here? Am I going to see any fruits from my labor? Because I'm tired of being stuck about a situation. I have you right here, Capricorns. You may be going up against the Leo. I don't know. First card on my left is they want me to tell you to be flexible. Be patient. I got temperance. Sagittarius showing up. Because I have the seven of swords with the wheel of fortune in reverse. I saw deception and envy. I felt somebody was trying, just, just was not right. And with the wheel of fortune in reverse, this is telling me that something hasn't changed. That's why they want me to tell you to make sure it's by the book and everything to be fair. I have the two of wands and I have it with the beautiful queen of swords. That's the queen of truth. You know, look at how that queen's looking at that two of wands, two fire energy. Looking out that window, the Queen of Swords, I feel you have something coming towards you that hasn't changed. And make sure everything is by the book and they're playing to be fair. You know, because you were concerned recently in the past that you didn't want to feel, you know, like you had, you gave into the situation and you had no eggs in your basket. You know, because things were just very hidden from you. Uh, Queen of Swords, not no more. Mm -mm. That Queen of Swords, everything is by the book. And they better be telling the truth because if they're not, Capricorn is moving on. You're looking out the window. This is where you decide you had movement choices and decisions. I have the moon showing up with the eight of swords and then the four of pentacles. The moon showing up again, Pisces, Cancer, energy. Between the eight of swords and the four of earth. Well, this is telling me, Capricorns, 
that before you jump into something here, hold on very tightly to something that you keep getting caught in your head about. Because I feel with the Queen of Swords, because the Queen of Swords is like right above the moon. And it's like, this is where you're going to use your intuition. You're going to know, is somebody playing by the book? Because I'm being very patient, I'm being flexible, because if they're not, I'm going out that window, I'm moving forward. You know, and with the Four of Pentacles here, this is hold on tightly to something about you, Capricorns. Hold on tightly. And with the Eight of Swords here, don't get trapped in your head from fear. Just make sure everything is by the book. That's all I'm going to say. That was the message. Oh, I did have one more card here in front of me. I'm sorry. I have to do a cup sideways. So this is an iffy, iffy situation. This is 50-50 for me. This is telling me that if somebody can prove to you that they're fair and they're honest and they're upfront about something, you'll give it another shot. I mean, literally, like the way the Queen of Swords is looking at that Two of Cups sideways. It's like, I don't know, you know, and then I have the Two of Wands. It's like, it better be fair. Mm. All right, because something is faded for you to go through here. It, it's universal power behind it. So it can go either way, but before you give any piece of you away, make sure everything's by the book. That's all. <laughs> I'm going to get a few messages for you from my spirit guides. Spirit guides. For the beautiful sign of Capricorns, a few messages. One good shuffle. What do you want to tell my beautiful Capricorns today, please? Thank you. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Oh, I'm going to jump. A few messages, please, for the sign of Capricorns. A few cards about the reading today. What do you want to tell my Capricorns? Wow, you guys. All right. You ready? <laughs> All right. I have the lovers. And I saw that two of cups sideways, so... Make choices from your heart, Capricorns. Deeply emotional commitments, the power of love. Just make sure everything's by the book. Because I got that Queen of Swords just looking at that. Mm. She's like, I'm, I'm going to make sure everything's by the book. And if you haven't changed, it ain't going to happen. I'm just going to let you right know because the next card they gave me is New Beginnings. <clears throat> In your current energies, I did see victory and success, but you need to speak up about something. Starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. Be flexible, be patient, make sure everything is fair, and make sure it's by the book. That's just the message I have for you today. Thank you for viewing me today, Capricorns. If you enjoyed it and it resonated, please remember to like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're not. Thank you. Thank you to all my beautiful Capricorns. I really appreciate all your love and support and wishing everyone a happy Mother's Day and many beautiful blessings. Thank you.